Hello and welcome to Chem 130. This video is a welcome video and will serve as an overview of the course. Once you log into the YC portal, click on Canvas and then click on the Chem 130 course icon. You will then come to this home page or landing page. I encourage you to thoroughly review the syllabus because there's a syllabus quiz. You could access the syllabus by clicking on the syllabus button here and the contents of the syllabus appear on this page. You could also access the syllabus through this link, which opens up another tab and is connected to a Google document. Both contain identical information. The content, resources, and assessments for this course are contained and organized in modules. Click on the Modules button and you will see a list of modules for this course. There are useful links in the How To module. You will be uploading files in Canvas. If you've never uploaded files in Canvas, there's a video showing you how to do so. Also, you will be using Lockdown Browser for all assessments. There are midterm and final exams. The subsequent modules contain the content for the course. Let's take a closer look at Module 1. Module 1 is the only module that contains the syllabus quiz. I'll point out a few important items. The study guides are a very important resource for you to prepare for all quizzes and your exams. This is a video on how to record measurements because you'll be quizzed on how to record measurements in a virtual density lab. I made numerous tutorial videos to help you learn the material. This link, Access to OLI, directs you to a free resource which will act as your textbook. There are two quizzes per module. Notice there are places here to upload notes. You could earn up to five points if you generate coherent, complete notes. See the syllabus for details. Also in the modules, the section for lab. There will be worksheets and a lab activity from your HOL lab kit. Module one is the only module that contains a virtual lab. That is the density and measurements lab quiz in Canvas. I want to point out a few useful features in Canvas. First, the to-do list. On the right here, you'll see upcoming assignments and their due dates. And then course calendar off to the left here. Click on the icon calendar and it will bring you to a monthly calendar showing you all assignments coming due. Well, right now we're viewing May. So let's move into June and we'll see a list of assignments and their due dates. I want to spend a few minutes focusing on access to OLI. This will lead you to the free textbook-like resource that is online. OLI stands for Open Learning Initiative. It is something that Carnegie Mellon University has created. In order to access this free resource, you're going to need to generate an account. The syllabus contains directions on how to do so. It's very simple. Here, click on, click here to register with course key 130-SM21. Then follow these instructions. I will show you how to do this right now. Scroll down to the bottom left where it says students create an account and start your course. Then scroll down and at the bottom left, click on register with course key. Here you'll be asked to generate an account but this is where you enter the course key and create an account. This is again a free resource. Once you've created your account, you could enter the so-called course. And this is what it looks like. I want to point out that this is a work in progress between Yavapai College, myself that is, and Carnegie Mellon University. Unit 1 is an incorporated textbook that is quite often used for Chem 130-like courses. And it is broken up into modules and chapters as you can see. I want to point out something very, very important. These module numbers are not at all associated with the modules in Canvas. These module numbers are created by default when information is incorporated into the Carnegie Mellon system. Please do not think that these module numbers are aligned with the module numbers in Canvas. What is aligned in the syllabus with this information are the chapter numbers. Unit 2 and Unit 3 are 
additional items that I brought in because the textbook above did not contain some essential chapters like on chemical equilibrium and acids and bases. How you will navigate through this material is clearly pointed out in the syllabus and in the schedule. If you have any questions, let me know. And I do want to point out these quizzes that you see are not for grades. These are here if you want to practice. Okay, there's no due date. There's no credit for these. These are practice quizzes. And these are here because they are part of this resource from Carnegie Mellon. There are quizzes within these module chapters in this part of the textbook for practice. So I want to point out all of your graded quizzes are to be completed in Canvas. All of the quizzes contained in this resource are for practice only. They will not be graded.